tame and he showed the Israelites what he could do. God was not just there on the mountain with Moses be the loudspeaker. I am the only God. I am the only God. I am the only God. He showed them what he could do. The Red Sea, the manna, and everything, all the miracles. He showed them what he could do. And so together with his declaration was a manifestation of his power and his glory. Amen. And those, those are some, some words. That, what, what do you mean the manifestation of his power and glory? It just simply means that he did things so that you would see what he could do. Woo! You could see it. You could touch it. You could take photo of it. You can post it. And you can share it. <laughs> Hallelujah. When he does all these things by his power, it is declaring unto you that he alone is God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the result is, when God has revealed himself to you, when God has done things in your life, in your family, in your church, it doesn't end there. Yeah. The Bible says, and you shall become witnesses. Yeah. That's going to be the natural result of you seeing what God can do. You read the Bible, and everybody who had witnessed what God can do, they were going around and telling people what God did. Yeah. I don't have much time to, yeah. to go through every scripture. But I'm telling you this morning, you must have a revelation of who God is. Yeah. You must have an understanding. You don't have to know Greek and Hebrew. All right. oh. When we were worshiping, I mean, I'm not saying that it's not important. You study. You've got to study. You've got to reach a level to, to, to be studying, pouring out your heart in the word. But Amen. For you to become a believer at the onset, you know, Pastor Tom would not be standing here. Only those who have diploma in Greekology and Hebrewology uh, would be saying, no, 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 we're not saying that. Well, what did you feel this morning? Hallelujah. What do you feel right now? Yeah. It's not many spirits trying to speak to you. you. I believe that you feel that there is one that is touching your heart right now. There is one that wants to do a miracle in your yeah. heart, life right now, and that is Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we become witnesses. That's the result of knowing him and experiencing his power. Hallelujah. To become witnesses. And so if you would be willing today, I ask you to open your heart to receive the word of the Lord for you as an individual, for your family. Amen. As a church, I like our mom here, brother, granddaughter. Amen. Praise God. We need moms to bring their granddaughters and grandkids to the church. Hallelujah. Stand, amen, in the gap for your family. Stand in the gap for your friends. Hallelujah. Bring them to church. Or even better, uh, uh, also after church, amen, go there because you are the church. Yeah. It's not this location. I'm glad that you got um, activities during the week. Amen. We want you to be healthy. So, hallelujah, Zumba all the way. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't do that in Bangkok because Bangkok sees that differently. But if it, you know, amen. But if that becomes a blessing for your community where you could, sh you know, reach uh, all the fitness minded people, go ahead. Hallelujah. Maybe your Zumba class can become a prayer meeting and can become a revival meeting. Yeah. God's going to show up. God's going to show up. I believe that God in his last days, amen, has wrapped up. A manifestation of his power and glory through his people. And when I say through his people, I'm speaking to you. Hallelujah. The 